pushing their expertise into totally new arenas. Instead of focusing only on devices and the gadgets, Intel is enabling a world of amazing experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our keynote of this evening, the CEO of Intel, Brian Krasanich. Hey there, Gary. Welcome. Wow, that is so cool. This is my self-balancing vehicle. Last year at Intel's, uh, at the CES forum, excuse me, I introduced you to Intel's Curie. A computer that fit in the size of a button. Curie's dedicated sensor hub can be used in a variety of exciting ways. I'd like to show you what happens when Curie meets the BMX bike. Let's welcome Tyler from Intel to tell us just what's happening here and what's uh, going on with Curie and these riders. Yeah, certainly, Brian. So what we have is we have two riders, Paris and Victor. Both of them have two sensors on their bike, one on the seat and one on the handlebars. With these, we're able to capture all the acceleration, height, spin, flip of the riders while they perform. As the athletes move across the stage, we're able to virtualize this movement. When they perform their tricks, Curie's Pattern Recognition Accelerator can classify those tricks in real time. I have to tell you, that was awesome. <laughs> this new era, though, begins in just a few weeks. You'll see it first at the best showcase in the world for action sports, the X Games Asper. Is the idea of seeing real-time data so you can see, the, understand the rotations and the spin and the g-forces and the height will just excite the athletes, it'll spur the competition, it'll look great on television, it'll excite the fans there. So I think this is a big home run for, uh, for you and I. And I'm hopeful, of course, I love seeing the uh, the technology before this, and you and I have talked about basketball and football and baseball and what we can do, so I think we'll put this technology to great use in January, show what it can do, and then have some new ideas. You can actually figure out how many times you rotated, how many G-forces you left to take off with, how many G-forces you landed with, a lot of insane stats that you never find out before we can find out now. We wanted to take it another step. And so we sought out a partner that could use this technology to transform the human performance. Tonight, I'm excited to announce a global partnership with a company who can do just that. A company that can give that technology wings. I'm talking, of course, about Red Bull Media House. Uh, to be successful in this future technology, we need um, some success factors. And one is a pathfinder. And you are a technology pathfinder. And for example, with your Curie chip, uh, we had a crazy idea. And you saw in the clip from ESPN, you saw the um, uh, Red Bull guys who were amazed about the heroes, amazed about technology. And you know what we did in What's our that? global partnership? We said, OK, let's try it out. This is life, real life. Let's go. You see, when you jump, the forces, you see the spin speed. And think about what you can do with this kind of live data. We can connect it with music. And at the end, we get a lot of great information. And it's not only information for the athlete, it's information for the channels. It's information for the medicines, for the coaches. This drone is built with the end user in mind. Using an Intel RealSense camera and an Intel CPU, with the collision avoidance technology we've developed with Ascending Technologies, this drone goes everywhere. I challenged our demo team to prove that the unique drone can follow a rider even when confronted obstacles like fake trees. 
So what you see is the drone not being piloted by anybody, but simply optically following the biker. And now it's in the lead mode. You'll see the drone's actually in front of the biker, avoiding the trees. And just over a year ago, we announced that Intel would be working with Luxottica on smart eyewear. And I'm excited to share a sneak peek tonight of the product we've been working on with one of Luxottica's most popular brands, Oakley. The challenge with data is it requires interpretation to be meaningful. There's a lot of devices out there that can track our heart rate, our power output, our cadence, but they're just delivering data. As an athlete, I need to know what that data means and how to respond to it in the moment. This is why most endurance athletes have a coach. OK, Radar, what's my workout today? You're going 15 miles, climbing 1,200 feet, and we'll do 16 medium hills. So first, I'm glad that's your workout and not mine for today, <laughs> got to tell you. So it, it's completely customized for you, thank God. I, I think Oakley has really pushed the sports performance to the limits here. I couldn't imagine a better endorsement than what you've given us here tonight. And we've been working with Intel to redesign the helmet from the ground up. The result is an extremely powerful piece of technology. Here, the smart helmet is recognizing the equipment Sam is working with. And it's going to use computer-enhanced vision to actually read the gauges of the equipment. If you look, it's identified a potentially dangerous pressure problem. So it's going to use augmented reality to give Sam step-by-step -step work instructions to fix the problem. Knowing what steps to take and in what order can reduce the time and increase the safety of these activities. We're very excited to announce a new partnership with the Recording Academy. For over 50 years, the Academy and the Grammy Awards have built a rich legacy and truly global brand, recognizing the best in music. Using some of Intel's technology you just saw, we want to transform the music experience during Grammy week. To launch the first of these experiences, we've collaborated with six-time Grammy Award winner. Intel has enlisted House of Gaga to collaborate on a project that will showcase technology through creativity at the highest level. Our partnership will culminate in a performance that inspires to remind the world of the seed of innovation, the wizard behind the curtain, the mind behind the machine. Intel. Gaga. At Intel's developer forum in August, we announced America's Greatest Maker, an effort to accelerate the amazing innovation underway across the US every day. I'm loving the show. I love this maker community. Thousands of teams of makers applied to our show. We selected, as you heard, the top 24, and their ideas run the gamut. There's medical ideas, gaming ideas. So uh, when, when can we see this, do you think? This will be on in the spring. Thank you so much, Mark, for coming on and talking to us. Thanks, tonight. everybody. Thanks for coming to see us. Great. We wanted to make sure that at least 40% of the hires that came into Intel were women and underrepresented minorities. And we wanted to make real improvement in the retention rate of those same employees and diverse talent. I'm here to tell you we achieved both goals. 43% of our new hires at Intel were women and underrepresented minorities. And this year, <laughs> and this year the retention rate among diverse employees was on parity with non-diverse employees. Hiring and retention are just pieces of the overall picture. We'll also continue to invest in the future of the technology industry with programs to get more students into STEM education, like our initiative with the Oakland Unified School District. When we learned about conflict minerals, we knew we had to take action. And Intel teamed up with the Enough Project to understand this issue, scrub the supply chain, help put out more sustainable processes, and make every Intel processor we shipped conflict-free. We achieved that goal in 2014, and then we raised the bar by promising that in 2016, every product Every processor, every modem, every device, every system we shipped, everything we sell will be conflict-free. 
Today, today, I'm truly excited to announce to you that we will achieve this goal. In 2016, every product that Intel ships will be conflict-free. And you can look for the conflict-free symbol starting in Q2 on all of our products to be confident that you're doing your part to improve the human experience. This accomplishment supports the people who are on the ground in the DRC to improve their human experience and their quality of life.